Mr. Gross going to daintily raise his leg and step in his pee. So we'll go out, take him out of the shop, see how long he lasts out here. He generally starts whining at me. Because it's just no fun when he's working on stuff. I can't play. Anyway, it decided to snow. Balls. Mr. Goofy. Ooh, there's tracks out here. What kind of tracks are those? Are those kitty tracks? Hmm. Been seeing trash panda tracks around lately. Those are pretty fresh, Mr. Griff. Pretty fresh. Woo. -hoo. You need a bone? You need a bone? There you go. There you go. Oh. What you gonna do with that bone, huh? Oh, that's a good place to set it, Mr. Griff. Woohoo! I'm going to sweep this general area out, push the truck up here to work on it. Was a good spot for nine years for the Challenger. Should be a good spot for nine years for the Super Dodge. Ha! I'll be dead. Oh, iced tea, that's not Pepsi. What do you think? So I got the radiator out to determine the cause of why that was leaking. And it's because the fans totaled. Um, I don't know. So, when I got bounced off that other guy's truck and it sent me over into the ditch and I hit that fence post, the only thing I can figure is something came up from underneath and bent the blades and then they went around the radiator and messed them up. Um, this piece was bent way over. The brace that goes on there is broke. Um, I, I'm hoping all this is good and straight. Uh, what else did I find on here? So I need a fan now. Gonna need a radiator for sure. The only other thing I'm wondering about is this tranny cooler. Because this fender brace, both fender braces are bent, so I gotta replace those. It was up against this cooler line which is right here. Uh, don't know how bad it pushed it over that way. Uh, does look like it bent it a little. So whether that's going to leak now, I don't know. I probably should just replace it or I'll be doing it later. And in order to replace that, you got to pull the bumper and all this stuff apart to get it out of there. It'd probably be best to do it now. Oh, this piece is it pulled this screw out i'm gonna try to bash this back in and tack weld this together because in order to replace this whole thing you gotta gut everything out of there and that comes clear over to here and i'd have to replace all of that so if i can straighten that one up and salvage it i will beat that these holes it didn't pull out but these two it pulled them pretty good so if I can get them in without destroying the threads and weld that back together, that's what I'll do. It's amazing accidents, the damage you can't see that they cause. Um, it's just, I mean, you just don't find it until you get in there. Okay, so I got the wheel off and I got that 
chunk of tie rod anyway my bottom uh, ball joints broke so that's what's wrong with that but also too um, more than likely my clock spring is broke in here which means the airbags got to come out and got to get a new clock spring in it uh, because if the wheel got turned too far then it's broke that clock spring in there and I, Wayne Petty called me and told me that there's a 90% chance that's broke in there and I said well what if I don't fix it and he said well your airbag could go off so there, there's another one that I've got to uh, fix anyway so what I'm going to do today I got it moved up in here where the challenger was the nine year slot <laughs> and I'll get this tore apart and get new ball joints on it and get the rest of the tie rod assembly off and uh, wor work on replacing that I'll probably have to do the ball joints on the other side uh, when I jacked it up it I don't know this one's really loose so I think when I went in the ditch it messed this side up also too this is broke it got this headlamp assembly over here so I did find those finally um, <clears throat> these came from off of Amazon so they're back in stock the guy that supplied them to me before so I've ordered those they were considerably cheaper than the ones from LMC so I bought the bumper braces those were cheap those were like eight bucks a piece and then I bought that inner inner fender that's uh, I think 84 bucks was all okay so it didn't break it off the stud but it broke the collar that holds it in out anyway all I did is undo the nut and it just went boom and fell down so that's what's wrong with it and then uh, start cleaning it up I guess and put it back together huh easy peasy so got the ball joint out but I don't think it's supposed to look like that anyway the knuckles ruined um, now I gotta have a knuckle it's uh, mush this side of it tapers no good it was I, I knew there was something wrong because it was loose in there I had to hold the ball to undo the nut so the tapers ruined that was a hard hit to do that that's that took a lot of force to bend that a lot of force Mr. Griff are you gonna help Jeff with the truck huh he's out in the shop here helping me He's been in the house asleep because mama's been gone. So he's kind of, yeah, you tell him he's pissed too. He don't like it when Tammy leaves him, doesn't take him. Ah. Uh. Okay, so I need a new uh, knuckle and I found one in Twin Falls. Should be here in a couple of days, a used one. They're getting very expensive. And the one guy I talked to said they've obsoleted these knuckles. He said clear into 2018 models. I find that hard to believe. Holy cow. 2018. So I've got uh, the inner fender ordered from LMC and a bunch of other miscellaneous stuff. Uh, I went into Napa to get a radiator. You can see how thick mine is and uh, opened it up and I went that's for a gasser so I took it back and they gave me some kind of BS that oh it's got the cores are blah 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 and I'm like no the tubes in that one are huge they're really wide and this one has two small tubes in it so they hammered me 
$365 for this plastic end piece of crap. So it's going back and I'm going to order one. It's going to come out of California. It's a uh, all aluminum ends, not plastic. And it has a lifetime warranty for 299 bucks and that's with free shipping. So that junkers going back. So what else anyway? Uh, oh, I got what I think I got the air dam that goes on the bottom of the bumper, but I still haven't located this top pad and then that wrap around piece for the bumper. So I'm going to go in the house, make you a video and then go searching for that. And Mr. Griffey wants the hell out of the shop. So I got to turn down the heat, un unplug stuff. And, whoop, going to turn on, turned off, on and off. And then, oh, this piece I straightened up. I've got to weld this back on and then reinforce it. Anyway. We're gonna get this whipped. What a pain. I hate this. But Jeff's gonna win. I'm gonna win. Mr. Griff, am I gonna win? Is Jeff gonna win? It's Bark. Well, see, you bet you I'm gonna win. Yeah. So that deer, I don't think, made it any farther than that over there it's carcasses over there uh, looks like the coyotes pretty much took care of that ASAP so I didn't think it would it's too bad <laughs>